Hello everybody, my name's Lauren Key. I'm a Microsoft trainer, a SharePoint engineer, and a qualified teacher. And today I'm here to bring you meetings in Microsoft Teams. Now there are various ways that you can start a meeting in Microsoft Teams. The easiest way and the quickest way is to go to Meet Now. So you can create a meeting on the fly with one of your colleagues. You can type in the meeting title here and then start the meeting. We have the option to toggle on and off our audio and our video, and then we simply just click join now. Once you are connected, you get the option here to show participants and you can invite people to your meeting. Simply type in their name in the search bar and then you will get a drop down list of contacts that you have in your organization. Click the person you wish to join the meeting that starts calling them there and they're invited to join. Otherwise, you can also schedule a meeting. Now, if I go back to calendar here and go to new meeting, you can schedule a meeting in the future. So let's type in our details here. We can add some attendees. You've got the optional bar here. So this one is really handy if you think the information in the meeting might be relevant to Johanna, um, but she doesn't necessarily need to join the meeting. She's there as an optional. Set the meeting date and the meeting time and the end time, whether you want it half an hour, an hour, etc. You have the option to add a channel here. So let's go ahead and do that. What will happen here is that any chat or files that are shared within the meeting Excel from the chat pane on the right hand side will um, be shared within that chat of that team or whether it be a personal chat one on one with an individual you're talking to. So it will be shared there in the chat area. You can type in your meeting details here and you can add in additional descriptions. We also have this scheduling assistant, which is quite handy. What this is showing you is during the, the time and the, of that day, you can see when people are available and it will show that they are available via the grayed out boxes here. Then you simply just need to send that meeting over. That will automatically sync to your calendar and then you can join that meeting on the particular date and time when that comes. Now that's how you schedule a meeting in Teams. We can also do the same thing within Outlook. So if we go on, go on over to Outlook and we go to, we're here in Calendar, we can see that I have that Meet Now button, which in this case is called Teams Call. Or if we go to New Event, we have the same um, fields here to fill in, but we have this Teams meeting toggle here. So if you toggle that on, that will set that as the Teams meeting. And then that you will get a link there for your attendees to join that meeting in the description. Okay, so we know how to create a meeting and set one up, but how do we join meetings? I'm going to jump back over to my Teams um, interface here and I have a meeting tomorrow at 1.30 so if I click that I can simply join that meeting from Teams here. If you double click you also get the click here to join meeting link and this is replicated when you go over to Outlook double click here and we've got that click to join meeting link. Okay so that is how you join a meeting from Teams and within Outlook, but I want to show you in meeting options. So let me just set up a meet now and set that up there. Let's join it. Okay, so when you're in a meeting, you are going to get a little bar here at the bottom and this is your menu bar. So what is this actually showing us? Well, we can see the duration of the call here. We can toggle on and off 
our microphone and our camera. If you wish to share your screen during the meeting, click share. You can select your window or your desktop which you wish to share and that will share it to your attendees. We have more options here. So show device settings is actually really handy if you're struggling to get um, external hardware such as um, earphones or speakers or cameras connected to your teams. Go to this section here and toggle on and off which audio device, speaker or microphone or camera you wish to set for your teams. We also have um, gallery views here and this is how your attendees will be displayed on your screen. And when you have people join the meeting and it's a larger group, you'll also have the option to record your meeting, um, have closed captions appear on the screen and also transcripts. There is this meeting notes option on the right hand side. When you click take notes and you and your colleagues will start generating notes together, that will appear as a, ta a separate tab in that meeting afterwards. And that will go back into your chat or your teams, depending on how you have scheduled that meeting. Lastly, it's not showing here on the options. We, we would have a chat bubble here. So as your attendees join, you will see a chat bubble here and that appears on the right hand side here. You can um, chat via message to your colleagues. You can share links, you can share documents there. If in a meeting you wish to raise your hand, you can do that with the raise hand button here. Now this is really handy if you're in a busy meeting and there's lots of people talking but you don't want to interrupt, raise your hand. Somebody in the meeting will acknowledge your raised hand and then you can answer your question. Once you have um, finished your question and it's been answered, simply lower your hand. And then we have that show participant screen on the right hand side here. So that covers the overall core functionalities of meetings with Teams. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.